Hello and welcome back to uh, Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories with me Matthew Gaddis aka Puggy. So today we will head to Neverland. Yep, so that's quite quick off the bat. But yes, there are only two other worlds I want to visit and the other one is obviously uh, before we finish here at least and that the other one is going to be of course 100 Acre Wood. Yeah, I'm gonna go to uh, Hollow Bastion last. Anyway, um, as you can see, we are once again aboard Hook's ship, and um, of course, Sora has lost his memory, so he does not know that it's Captain Hook's ship. But yeah, it's Captain Hook's ship. Um, yes, indeed. Ah. Uh, Oh yeah, you don't have the Trinity mark, so you can't really open the hatches. Oh, and there's Tinkerbell. Uh, Tinkerbell, you know, she was a summon. Seriously, one of the better summons, actually. Yes, she is. Though she's not like Navi from Ocarina of Time. She doesn't go here and listen and or, or anything like that. But yes, Tink is there to help us. And indeed, um, we've also learned Glide! One of the better power-ups, in my opinion, from uh, the original uh, Kingdom Hearts. And this time we don't have to equip it. And then again, it wasn't that bad because it didn't cost the AP, so... What am I complaining about? Anyway, that being said, Neverland, um, of course, has the Pirate Heartless and uh, the Air Pirate Heartless as well. Although I didn't manage to gain the drop on this, so we just start off with a bunch of shadows. So what level cards do they have? I don't know, because I'm using the same deck I fought Riku with in the last episode. So yeah. Um, and that makes it a bit tougher. Okay, so... Yeah, heal up. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, whew, you are getting in my way, Heartless. Okay, so no pirates there! But, but yes, we will have to face uh, Captain Hook. Yeah, it's kind of a given in uh, most of the Neverland worlds in uh, the Kingdom Hearts series that we would. So, yeah, so Red Doctors. Oh, no, Yellow Operas, actually. Yeah, yeah so. Stop hating me. Oh, wait, no, no. You're the Mage Heartless, aren't you? Course. Stop. Um, being, okay, now we have first air. Well, actually, no. We kind of did get the air pirates in Olympus Coliseum because we had a mishmash of them, including the Power Wilds from uh, thing, because uh, we couldn't use. Because uh, Disney could not get. Uh, what is it now? Never mind, I'll just wail on them. The annoying thing about the Pirate Heartless, their um, swashbuckling is pretty good. To the point where. Um, even if you were trying to use a slight, you may not be able to because uh, of their comboing and everything. I wish I had moved closer to them, seriously, so Goofy could kick some ass. True, he only does it with his shield, but where does that ever stop Goofy from kicking ass in the Kingdom Hearts series? Seriously. Uh, stop hitting me there, seriously. I am trying to kick your ass, so. Donald, uh, Thunder, yada, yada, yada. I believe those are the main things. We don't get the floating pirate ship, uh, Heartless, which we did see, of course, in Kingdom Hearts 1. I think they actually are called battleships in um, Kingdom Hearts 1 when we uh, were fighting, of course, um, Captain Hook. And completely missed there, Goofy, because the Heartless went down. It was on very low HP. Oh well, uh, we can just finish this one off. And Almighty Darkness. Not a sort of map card I want to use, really. Okay, so what? which Heartless are you? Um, yeah, I, if there's anything in the chain of memories, should I say? The chain of memories is uh, the fact that the um, uh, Heartless always start out with the weak shadows. Seriously, I hate that. Seriously, I think that does change once we get a little later into the game. Could be wrong there because so many Heartless, so little time, I guess, in um, um, Square Enix's case. But there you go. Honestly, um, I wonder what would happen after Kingdom Hearts 4 because, I mean, not only do we have a rhythm game now... 
on both the switch um, and everything else, melody of memory. But we now have uh, Dog Brown playing. Uh, well, that's a bit, a bit too far into the spoiler territory, so I'm not going to say any more than that. So, that being said, yeah, this is just me wailing on various Heartless. No new ones thus far, I'm afraid. So, instead, let's open the first story room, because this is where we meet Peter Pan. Yeah, it is. So, let's just go and meet Peter Pan. And maybe he's looking for Wendy, just like in Kingdom Hearts 1. You're just noticing that I guess you shouldn't play Final Fantasy 13 there, um, uh, Sora. It's just full of long, narrow hallways. You think they're goofy? And again, I thought uh, Donald is usually the irate one. Oh, uh, there's Peter Pan. Yeah, and unlike in the Chip and Dale movie, he is not an elderly guy, well, middle-aged guy, who um, actually did grow up and become a bad guy. Referencing the very voice actor who played him in the original uh, Peter Pan. Yeah. I don't know. We're only here because what? Um, Castle Oblivion. That's what. Yeah, we're going through Sora's memories because Square Enix and Nomura thought it would be a good idea. Kind of worked on the GBA. The battle system works better on the PS2 and uh, any other mod. Uh, home consoles, but I guess the whole idea worked better on the GBA of going through Sora's World on a different console, but dress funny! Um... Dude, you... you Link borrowed your style there, Pete. Or, or Sweet Pete? No, not Sweet Pete. Uh, Peter Pan. Seriously. Um... Yeah, sure. Uh, Sora's the big clown shoes, but seriously. Oh yeah, Peter Pan can fly. Yeah, until the Ship and Deal movie. Okay, I guess she's small enough. Uh, dude, he's the Keyblade Master. Don't you go dissing Donald and Goofy. They're actually pretty badass in this series. Well, at least until Kingdom Hearts 2. I'm not playing Kingdom Hearts 3. But, just like in Kingdom Hearts 1, um... Um, I guess he might well have done. Yeah, after all, um... Peter Pan is one of the better summons in the Rechain of Memories. I'm not even joking. Like with Aladdin, he can actually rack up the combos pretty good. He doesn't give you any Moogle points, though, sadly. Um, no, he doesn't, Donald. That's how he was in the Disney film. And in Kingdom Hearts 1. But anyway, we get the uh, next um, key card, I guess. And I guess that'll be it, because all I do for the, le for the next few... Um, um, mi two minutes is actually, um, just goes to the same point of battle more, uh, heartless, because goddamn do I need to when I get past Hollow Bastion. Seriously, we will not only face one boss, but two! Yes, two of them! Both of which we have fought thus far in the game! And no, one of them isn't Axel, we're not gonna fight him until much later in the game. So, yeah, uh, so... I don't know if I created a safe room. If not, then I'm just going back to the beginning. I did create a sleeping darkness room, which honestly is a good idea for uh, um, level grinding. Unless you really want to go to like a bottomless darkness room or um, thing, but I prefer the sleeping darkness room, seriously. Anyway, here's Peter Pan, so I'm, I'm leaving this in. Basically, um, if you summon him, uh, you are able to mash the uh, triangle button for massive damage against many of the Heartless. It's insane. Yeah, you do have to do a bit more button mashing, but it's worth it when you uh, summon Peter Pan, seriously. Just the thought of him just um, 
up to them and then just mashing the um, uh, button seriously. But yeah, might want to use a cure spell here as well. Just saying. And uh, is that it? No. Um, and his attack is called Hummingbird. What more could I want in a summon? Well, in a dizzy summon at least. <laughs> so that being said, I think we will actually face Hook in the next episode. So I will see you then. Goodbye.